Hey folks, thanks for watching. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual hack box. What is a virtual hack box, you might ask? It's a, basically the virtual environment that you're going to be creating to house other operating systems to be used as a target or attacker. It's going to be installed on your existing Intel or AMD based computer. Um, doesn't matter what you're running. Windows, Mac, Linux, or Solaris operating system, it's going to install right into it and it's going to run multiple operating system. Examples of uh, a virtual hackbox or hypervisor that you'll be using is Hyper-V. Now Hyper-V comes with your Windows products in your Pro Edition, um, but you won't have it in your Home Edition. But if you do have Windows 10 Pro, it's going to be on there, so check your machine. Also, there's VMware, uh, which has a paid version, which is pretty expensive, and a free version, which uh, is okay, but my recommendation would be to use VirtualBox. And today's tutorial, that's going to be uh, the hypervisor we're going to be using. Now we're going to start talking about the whys and where's to install uh, VirtualBox. So why should you install VirtualBox? For one, it's easy. You're going to be creating a virtual environment instead of a physical environment uh, or a physical LAN. You can go out and buy a whole bunch of hardware if you want and create a LAN to hack around in. Uh, but uh, creating the virtual network is, is going to be a lot better because it's going to be free. Uh, so it's cost effective. It's going to provide you with some varieties. You'll have different target machines, which means that you get to practice different vulnerabilities on different OSs. But um, another reason why, the most important reason why you should use VirtualBox is, is that it's safe, uh, or not VirtualBox, but uh, a virtual environment, is because it's safe. Uh, one of the golden rules that you'll want to remember about hacking or pen testing is that you will always need the owner's permission in writing to do any type of pen testing on their machine or machines. Follow with legal advice from your attorney my recommendation so uh, just remember I said that um, also you might want to take a look at hackers.hackerslaw.org or Google CFAA to learn more about the legal uh, limitations that uh, you're that uh, that you'll probably need to know uh, for so that you don't get in trouble uh, so VirtualBox will create a isolated environment so that you're not connected to the outside world for you to hack around and and last but not least, practice makes perfect. The knowledge base for computer security is vast. It's huge. So, um, you know, the more you practice, the better you'll get. And this is where you'll be able to download VirtualBox. Uh, let me go ahead and click on the link. It'll lead to the VirtualBox website, which is an Oracle product. You, depending on what host system you're using, whether it's uh, Windows or uh, Apple product or if you're running Linux or Solaris just download your flavor and install it. it's pretty easy I won't go through the step-by-step -step instruction but um, just go ahead and click on whichever one of these you 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 need um, and and download it'll take about 10 minutes so uh, and this is what it looks like once you're you have it downloaded uh, it's empty right now because we haven't down, uh, installed any new virtual machine so uh, this is what it looks like once you're done now what OS might you want to install is the next topic I want to talk about so but before we go on to that um, just remember the operating system when you download these operating system from these different sources just remember they're going to take up space so make sure you have some space dedicated to downloading some of these operating system Downloading all the operating system into one folder for easy access is my recommendation. Uh, that way you know where all of the operating systems are and you can delete them or add new ones as you go. So, but uh, those are kind of the housekeeping side. But uh, where we're, we're going to be downloading from, uh, first thing is Microsoft operating system. We want to download Windows Server 2012 R2. We also want to download Windows 10, uh, 8.1, and Windows 7. I'll show you where they're at in a minute. Also, as uh, as the Linux on the Linux side, we want to download Kali Linux, 
Ubuntu and Backbox. I added Backtrack earlier on, but um, it's out. I just remember it's outdated, and, and it's a uh, basically Backtrack and Kali are the same thing. They're just going to refer you to Kali Linux. So, and uh, so to look into your operating system for Windows, this is where you want to go. Either you can go Google. TechNet Evaluation Center, or you can just click on the link I'll provide in the description and go to uh, the TechNet Evaluation Center. Let me go ahead and click on this particular link. All right, so you'll have to register to sign in to be able to download these operating systems. They're all evaluation trial uh, operating systems, so they will uh, expire believe some of them will be 90 days and you can re renew them up to three times others are 180 days my experience with them is once you're done renewing them the three times you can uninstall them and reinstall them again and uh, it'll start all over again so uh, here's all your operating system and this is where you want to download your Microsoft products also there's a after you register for it there's another site that you'll be able to get virtual this image which is um, made for virtual machines like VirtualBox it's lighter and you can download it pretty quickly rather than the full OS in the previous slide let me go ahead and click on that now this is where you'll be able to download your Windows 7 uh, I think 8.1 is on the previous slide but you can also do the light version of 8.1 using these uh, version of Internet Explorer. So this is another good site to get uh, VDIs from. All right, as far as Linux distro, um, first thing we want to download is Kali Linux. This is going to be your attacker machine. This is made for pen testing and security uh, and testing out security vulnerability. Let me go ahead and click on this link. This is the site you'll get to, kali.org forward slash download. Let me scroll down here. Comes in torrent or direct. I recommend downloading it from there directly. That way you know it's coming from the source. And depending on what type of machine you have, uh, you can you know choose your flavor. I picked the uh, Kali Linux 64-bit. And make sure you put it into that one folder that I uh, recommended earlier. Also, there's Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a, one of those up-and-coming operating system on the Linux side, and uh, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool and slick. But uh, you just go to their site, and you will go to, let's see here, there should be a download tab. There it is, download. Uh, just go ahead and click on download, and download the desktop. And... Um, you can also download Ubuntu Server, Cloud, Core, Kylene, uh, if you like, uh, later on. But the desktop is, is, is what you'll need for right now. All right, uh, another Linux distro is uh, your, uh, well, actually, this is Backtrack. Sorry, this is no longer available. So let's just go ahead and go to the next one. Backbox, that's the one I wanted. Uh, basically, this is your stripped-down version of Kali. It's got nothing it's made for speed it's easy to use and provides a desktop yet it's minimal so uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Linux distro because you can always add stuff to it types of um, uh, service or <clears throat> things that you want to run in your Linux distro but go ahead and go to this site backbox.org and click on your backbox Linux Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll give you a little bit of detail on what Backbox is. But just go ahead and go to download. And um, it will ask you to donate. Just go ahead, depending on what continent you're in, just select your type of currency. And if you want to donate, donate. If not, just put zero and click donate. Whoops happen there all right uh, also if, if you got if you have a AMD processor 
uh, or a Windows process, uh, Intel processor, you know, choose one of these that fits your flavor. But does it seem like it's working? Let's go to mirror two, donate. All right, and there it is, uh, right down here. But it's downloaded. That's how it downloads. You have to select zero if you don't want to donate anything. Whoops. All right, um, so the next step is um, I, I want to start talking about RAMs and storage space that you'll need for your host or your guest machine that you're going to be downloading. Um, just make sure that you got enough physical space to store your operating system. Like I said earlier, you know, it's, you're going to need about 50 gigabytes if you're going to be downloading all those operating system to create your environment. Um, when you go to create your virtual machine for each operating system, you'll be using up space. But uh, no worries. If you're not saving anything, you're not necessarily uh, using those space. It's virtual space. So you're dedicating as much as you have is the trick. So basically, if you have 100 gigabytes left over, you know you can have you can have six virtual machine and dedicate 25 each because you're not going to be using them up anyway. But if you are going to be using those space that uh, those empty space, then you'll need to have space dedicated for those virtual machines. But for this particular reason, for installation reason, you'll dedicate about 25 gigabytes of free space to each virtual machine. But you're not going to be saving any data to them, so it's you're okay. Also, as far as RAM is concerned, you'll need on your PC or your laptop at least 16 gigabytes. It's my recommendation. You just got to make sure you have some left over for your hosts. For example, if you have four guest machine on VirtualBox at two gigabytes each, that means that you have eight gigabytes dedicated to your virtual machine, which means that you'll have eight dedicated to your host. Another example is that I have in the past run six machine at two gigabytes each, which equals to 12 gigabytes. That means that four gigabytes is dedicated to the host. So the more you have dedicated to your virtual machine that's running, you're going to be sacrificing performance on your host. So kind of do the math and kind of look out for that. So what's next? Um, I'm going to show you how to install all, if not most, of the operating system mentioned in this video. Why do I say most? Um, once you install a few virtual machines or VMs, this will give you a feel of how to install a guest machine on your virtual box. So once you get the feel of it, it's kind of pretty similar for all of them. Um, and then once we have all the virtual machines installed, I'm going to show you how to network them together so that they can talk to each other and you can start to practice. Um, so um, our next video will be installing the attacker, which is Kali Linux, into VirtualBox. So I hope to see you uh, in part two. And if you like the video, subscribe and like the video. And again, thank you and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.